RPG 12 James is currently demonstrating the use of the Xbox 360 controller with the story mode of the Deathly Hallows video game. Oh, it's good fun. Indeed. However, he's failed to notice the Kinect controller and the series of Kinect challenges off the main menu. Allow me to demonstrate. Okay, I searched the Kinect challenges. What's that blue matchstick man for? That's how the Kinect recognises me. See, it follows my movements exactly. It's asking me to wave. And now it's turned green, and it means I'm signed in and ready to play. Oh, then I was playing first. Hmm. Well, lucky for you, the Connect Challenges also has a two-player co-op mode. Stand up. You need to make sure there's nothing in your way. And stand about six feet away from the TV. Hey, that's me. You just need to wait. Ah. Using my hand, I can move the cursor and hold it still above the challenge to select it. And how do we choose the locked ones? The more we play, the more we unlock. So how do we play? Each challenge uses two out of four possible attacking spells, as well as your Protego defense spell. You cast each spell by using a unique gesture. For example, to cast a stupefy spell, you raise your hand like so, and cast in the direction of your target, like so. Stupefy! I'm stupefy! And you only do that by waving your arm around like a goblin. Stupefy! Stupefy! Is, is there anything with a little more oomph? Yeah. Uh, let's try a rapid fire spell, like Expulsor. Swing your hand from your chest towards the target and then spray your shots left to right to hit more than one enemy. Cool! And what about a spell with a bit of a bang? Um, what about Harry Potter's signature spell? Expel the Elms. Right. Hold your right hand above your shoulder to charge the spell. And then aim at Death Eater. Expelliarmus! Expelliarmus! Fringo! Then Fringo! That's what I call a bang. What, you're not the only one in career manual. I'm just surprised you knew that you have to keep your left hand above your shoulder. It had a picture. Anyway, Confringo takes a little while to recharge. So if you want some powerful magic in a hurry, then you need to throw some exploding potions. This also you need your left hand. So make sure you keep your right hand down by your side when you throw your potion. Hey, it stopped working. No, it hasn't. You only have three bottles, so you have to use them wisely. Now look, because the Death Eaters have hit you so much, the colour's draining from your screen. If you fail, it's game over for both of us. No worries. Tago! That should help my health recover. You may want to try this. Now that will work back. Put your hands down by your side, and then push out with your palms out from your stomach. Cheers. Now let's see if you're paying attention. Yeah, she's not defending, come on. No need for Tago while I get them. Yes! <laughs> We hope you've had as much fun playing the Deathly Hallows Connect Challenge mode as we have. And good luck taking on the Dark Lord's forces with your controller-free magic. Hey, you got more points than I did. Of course I did, I'm better than you. <laughs>